You've got exactly four minutes to master glow paint. Let's go. I'm going to make the blue glow here, and uh, scientific study informs us that the blue glow is most attractive to fish. Uh, it's what's most often found in nature, and if you look at, you know, like deep sea fishes that have uh, luminescence, it's always in the blue spectrum. It's never in that green spectrum. Uh, it doesn't mean fish won't bite it, but, you know, we're just following the science here. So I've added some 4012 reducer, and I'm not going to make a ton of this because I only want to make as much as I'm going to use. And then I'm going to add some gloss acrylic uh, base. It doesn't have to be gloss, but that's what I have. And I'm going to mix this about uh, two to one uh, acrylic base to 4012 reducer. And then I'm going to start adding the glow powder. In other videos, I show you how to mix this. Um, typically, a good place to start is four to one um, and then go from there. Uh, four to one your, being your base to your uh, glow powder, but you'll just tweak it as you go along. And because I've done this so many times, I just know how much to use. Right. And after I put this on the mixer, what I realized was it was just a little bit too thin. Um, I would have to apply a lot of coats of this to get good glow base. And I don't want it really watery because it's just gonna take a lot of time to, to cure or dry in between coats. And um, you know, I don't want to be all day with it. Okay, so here we go with the blue glow we just made, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit these spoons really hard. And you're gonna see me changing the spoon, the small one for the big one. Then you see the big one come back, and the small one come back. And it's just because I'm gonna continuously work on these until they're done. I'm gonna put three good strong coats of glow on these, and in between, I'm gonna hit it with the hairdryer to dry it. And then uh, you'll see when we get to the end, it's gonna be a nice heavy coat, and it's gonna be a little kind of grainy on the surface. That's how you know you're really building up the material. And what I'm using here is just a cheap dump gun, uh, 0.5 millimeters, you know, 50 pounds of pressure, and just blasting this stuff through the nozzle. Looking pretty good. Okay, so from here, I'm going to add a coat of 40 30 clear, and the reason I do this is because it just protects my work in between steps. I'm going to start with this fluorescent yellow, and this is just a style that I like the way that I paint, and it took me a couple of years to kind of land on the way that I like things to look. Um, so this is the way that I do it, but you do you, man. Do however you like. And I do a style that I call Lottie Dotty, and I basically am going to take um, the dotting tool and load it with paint, and I'm going to make three dots without reloading it, and this gives me a big dot, a medium dot, and a small dot, and I'll change their orientation each time so it doesn't look repetitive and ever to touch the tool to the surface. What you want to do is just touch the paint to the surface, and the paint will pull off of the end of the tool in a perfectly round drop. Okay, now I'm gonna add a contrasting color and when I make stuff that glows, I like to use some dark colors on it because when it's glowing, those dark colors will kind of punch a hole through the glow and give you some contrast and light colors won't do that. Okay, so I just leave it just the way it is. And in fact, I like it a little bit cooler because I like it to be a little thicker and it's easier uh, to get a good coat when it's a little, we're gonna use the same method. I'm just gonna brush it on in a nice even coat, uh, continuously load the brush, continuously flip the brush and just keep working. But don't worry if it runs over the edges or gets onto the tool that you're using to hold the spoon. We'll take care of that later. Uh, the stuff will come right off uh, and we can weed it out later. Uh, that's my visual inspection. And it looks really good. So it's important as you look at this, look at it from an incident angle, right? And rotate it so you can see if you missed any spots. It gets hard. And now let's uh, do a real time experiment. I'm going to give it a few seconds of a uh, black light. And when I kill the lights, you'll see how great it glows. I mean, that was just a, what, eight seconds of charge. All right, guys, if you got some value out of this uh, presentation, uh, which I hope you did, please like and subscribe. I need all the help I can get to build a positive community here. I really love how the channel's coming together, and I hope you guys do too. Tight lines, y'all.